Hey, welcome back to part three of creating a walk cycle in Adobe After Effects using the Puppet Tool. So now that you have your walk cycle complete, we'll move her into a new composition. So composition new, and I'm going to just change this title here to walk cycle so I know it's the complete walk cycle and not just my character. Uh, change it to, uh, I'm changing mine to 720. You can change yours to 1080 or whatever size you'd like. So in here, then I will grab my character and move that composition into my new composition I created. Resize this character, holding shift on the keyboard and reposition her into place. I just want to change the background, so I'll go to composition settings and change this to uh, a blue. That, that way I don't have to create a solid layer for a sky, I just have it right there in the composition. Maybe it's kind of a gloomy day. Uh, so I, I'll go with that blue color here. And then I'll create a new solid layer for the grass. So I'll change that to a bit, maybe a darker green. And resize that and reposition it down at the bottom of the composition. And also reposition it in the layer so it's behind my character. Now if I scrub through the timeline, I can see that my character has one walk cycle over one second and then she's not moving anymore because that is what's happening in our composition. So in order to have her loop, I actually have to change the length of that composition for my character. So I'll delete that on this composition and I'll go into my girl character composition and make sure that the um, work area is set to one second, go up to composition and trim to work area. Now when I go back to my new composition and drag out my character, it's just going to be big again here, so I'll resize that. Um, I can see that the composition then is only that one second, and then she disappears. So in order to lengthen this, I'll right click on my character layer, go to time, and enable time remapping. So that's created two keyframes automatically for me and I can see I can drag at the end of this composition uh, to lengthen that. After this one keyframe she disappears uh, so we just have to loop that. So with time remap selected go to animation and add expression. So you can delete what's in there and there's this little play looking icon. Click on that, go to property and choose loop out type. You don't have to change anything here, just click on that and it creates that loop. So now I can see that's carrying on and I can stretch my composition out as long as I'd like. So that will just go on forever. But I did see a little bit of a blink back here where this one keyframe is. So to remove that, I'll just move my timeline one frame before that keyframe and make a new keyframe and then just delete that old one. So now it will loop on forever and ever. Amen. So now we just, we also want her to look like she's walking past something, not just in this blank space. So I'm going to uh, draw a background. Um, I'm going to make some trees here. I'll make them um, a uh, pine tree, they're a bit easier to draw and I'm not going to worry about the perfect angles with my pen tool, um, but rather adjust them afterwards. So once I have that created, I'm just going to change the color here and then move this up and uh, draw out a stump for the tree. And I'm going to just shape it along the bottom of the tree. And change the color to a brown. A darker, that's better, all right. And then I can move the tree behind uh, the grass layer and it kind of hides the bottom of the stump. I'm actually going to grab my pen tool and uh, make the stump a little bit taller so I have more room to work with. 
So now if I drag that tree behind there, uh, the length of the stump is hiding, so I can reposition that. So I want to make this its own composition. Right click on the shape layer and pre-compose, and I'll call this trees. So now if I double click on that, it's its own composition. And I want to duplicate these trees. So I'm going to bring this over to the uh, left side of my composition and edit the composition settings. Just decrease the height a little bit here to have it the height of the tree approximately and then just crank up the width. You want it quite wide. So move that tree to the far left and then down in my timeline, make sure my layer is selected and just hit Command D for duplicate and duplicate several of those trees and just space them out. They don't have to be perfect. Trees in the forest aren't perfectly aligned with one another so just kind of make it a little messy and just space out all of your trees. And then any extra trees that you have, um, you can just go down and delete them. So now if I go back to my walk cycle, I want those trees to look like they're moving in the background. So I'll go up to layer, add a new camera, and, and make sure able, enable depth of field is turned on and add that camera. And right away then add a new null layer. And then parent the camera directly to the null layer. So now when I'm moving the null layer around, I have to make sure they're turned on, the 3D is turned on. I can see that it appears as though the background's moving, um, but it's just the camera. So I'm gonna make a little bit of depth here and duplicate my trees layer and I can see in my two views um, that I have two layers and then space them out a little bit and just reposition your trees uh, so the, the ones that are further back are visible through the spaces of the trees that are closer to the camera. So I'll just adjust that here a little bit. And then to see that a little bit better, I'm going to add a drop shadow to the trees in the front. So in my effects panel, I'm gonna search for drop shadow and just click and drag that onto my trees layer. And then you can see there's a bit of a shadow. I, it, it differentiates it from the back trees and I can uh, adjust some of these settings here, maybe make it uh, softer, increase the distance and then I can see that a little bit better. So I'm gonna go back into one view. And I'm just gonna reposition my layers here so I know that this tree's layer um, that's in front comes first. And then I'm gonna click on my null layer, hit P on the keyboard for position, and keyframe the null object. So I'll make my keyframe at the beginning move my timeline to the end and just reposition my null object across the screen. And then if I replay that, it appears as though my character is walking across the screen. So I could adjust uh, a few more settings here to make this a bit more realistic. If I go into the camera settings, I can crank up the aperture. So that um, responds to the depth of field and so anything that is further away from the camera will appear blurry and anything closer to the camera will appear a little bit more clear and I can also kind of crank up the blur level overall here so now if I uh, just hit spacebar and let the RAM preview do its wizardry I can see that it appears as though my character is just walking past all of these trees, but it's just the camera moving by these stationary objects. Now you've learned how to cr create your character in Illustrator using effects in Photoshop, bringing your character into Adobe After Effects and using the puppet pin tool in order to animate a walk cycle and you've learned how to parallax a background to appear as though your character is realistically walking in an environment. Good job, see you next time!